Ludwig was once the greatest hunter of the Healing Church, a founding member and legendarily moral, conscientious, and upright in his ideals. But alas, he was not immune to the corruption and the sweet call of blood. And even the beguiling spirits of light that dwelled in his moonlit blade could not save him from the inevitable transformation into a beast. His soul was dragged into the hunter's nightmare, there to torment and destroy itself and others forever, splashing in a river of blood of its own making. Ludwig's design is a horrifying folded monster made of horse legs and beast claws, mashed together at random, with a fetid mouth full of eyes jutting from his shoulder. In his feral state, he's almost completely in comprehensible, especially with his chaotic movement, but once his sword restores him to lucidity one last time and he stands up straight, the design cleverly transforms into something that is not less horrifying, but distinctly more comprehensible, more humanoid. Thus, Ludwig perfectly embodies the tension between raging beast and man, and shows the tragic fall and corruption of dignity that comes with the old blood. Few monsters in Bloodborne are quite as creepy as Ludwig, and few are quite as tragic. Subscribe here for shorts to see my detailed analysis of this character over on my main channel.